the bills. Uh, August 13th, the glass show uh, with local artists and live demonstrations will be going right down right here. Oh, didn't put a time. What time? And Sue? Starts, starts, starts at 2 o'clock. That's August 13th. August 19th, they have the dope show coming back. Uh, that starts 9 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. 9? 9 o'clock? That's August 19th, if you guys are keeping up. August 19th. I'm calling it out like it's bingo. August 19th. August 19th. Dope show. August 26th, we will have the Bud Tender Special Comedy Show at 10 p.m. That'll be hosted by me. I'll have an awesome lineup. I'm going to let uh, Jensen think about some of the people that's been through here and let him pick one or two of the water. <laughs> uh, warning, I wouldn't touch this when y'all come up here if I was y'all. I'm just saying this shit is a lot of hard work. Again, August 26th, Bud Tender, uh, special comedy show. I'm going to handpick some good comedians. I already got a few in line that I'm thinking about. It's going to be awesome, so you don't want to miss that. That's going down uh, August 26th. And on the August 28th, we're having the Bud Tenders BBQ. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He told me they're going to have brisket and every fucking thing. So uh, bring your plate, bring your appetite, and come through. Is there a charge for that, or is it just... So, yeah, we have tickets available, all the three events, the dope show, the barbecue, and the glass show. $10 tickets now available. All right, there. And, and you, can, uh, you can get the tickets from Jensen or any of the Bud Tenders, right? Oh, I have a Jensen? Me. Jensen, he has tickets, or Mike back here in the back has uh, the owner. He also has tickets, so if you guys need tickets, talk to them. Uh, hey, where's uh, where's our regular door guy at? He took the night off? He's right there. What do you want to do with me? No, but where's our regular door guy? I miss his long, long hair. Where, where's he at? Your man? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's working weekdays for a little while. Oh, he's so, oh, so yeah. He's yeah. seven days now. Oh, y'all are back open seven days. Congratulations on that, man. Yeah, we're sitting I, uh, shit, I haven't been here in like, yeah, it's been a while since I've been here. It's been like four weeks, three weeks, nine weeks. <laughs> Two months in a day. It's been so that's all the announcements. I will be making these announcements again throughout the show. Uh, but make sure you see Jensen or Mike to get tickets or any of the staff. I'm going to say staff. Okay, staff's cool. All right, I got the thumbs up. Everybody's just high right now. You good? Everybody is blowed. He just, I just took a, a dab of some... Blue dream. Oh my gosh. Have you ever smoked some shit that just made you reevaluate your whole life? Just like every fucking decision you've ever made. Like, I know you have outdoor feel. Like, he just. I already know about you. You're the reason I tried to try then. Nobody else. I'm walking away from him, like, I'm not gonna do this shit. And he's like, dude, you can do this, man. You can do this. He's like a weed motivator. If you can't smoke it, he will talk you into smoking it. Just, he's a good motivator. And you got me to it, man. I didn't cough that much. It was smooth. You were awesome. You were high as fuck. Man, I was so high. I love it. Yeah, I was high. I mean, oh. We ordered like 300 pieces and shit. Like, we were all one. Ah! <laughs> and they thought we were lying about our pizza order and we didn't do it. They wouldn't even bring our pizza order. They made us order it in two separate orders just to make sure. Because ain't nobody ordered no 40 damn pieces of pizza. Like, dude, we had a weed club. Yes, we are ordering 40 fucking pizza, man. Luckily, we ain't getting more than that. You know it's a lot of pizza when they back the truck up to the front door. And <laughs> We sure did pay him in all ones. We made it rain on all of it. Take that bitch! Yeah. Yeah. Pepperoni, pepperoni. So, uh, we got down. It was like, that was my fun. I don't remember a lot of that day. It's all a blur. Yeah, right. You ever seen Loathing in Las Vegas? Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas? That's what my day was like. Just all, oh, shit. It's like a long, long thing. It was just yeah, I woke up high. Like, who fucking does that? Who wakes up like totally fucking high? Like, <laughs> <laughs> damn. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> well, I, I don't feel. I just you look like the type that goes to sleep with a pipe just in your mouth. You just <laughs> breathe in and blow the smoke out your nose while you're sleeping. Shit, like is he really smoking in his sleep? You just you do that, man. What maybe? Blunt, really? Oh yeah. I've never seen. Have we smoked a blunt? You must partake in one, my brother. We must partake in one. All right, I have to come and see you. Are y'all ready for your next comedian? Yeah! This young man is here from Spokane, Washington. Please put your hands together for Salsa! Thank you so much. It's great being here. I love Portland. It's a very strange town. I know. But it's... I like to find the similarities in things. So I, I'm here from Spokane. We've all seen a grown man with two days worth of five o'clock shadow riding a child's BMX bike. It happens. We all have to go through that. And I know some of you guys might have been shocked. How does the guy who looks like a linebacker sound like a chipmunk on HGH? I got your phone. It helps. What? Is that like your phone? Said, I'm Sasa. It's great right. to be here tonight. Yeah. It's a very Samoan name. People usually ask me where it's from, so they usually just like to get to the chase. I know, growing up in the Seattle area, it was kind of weird. Because I know there's a lot of things that schools don't teach you. They really don't. Home Ec might teach you how to cook, maybe some basic knife work, yeah. but it won't teach you how to toss a salad. <laughs> yeah. There's no after school special for Analingus. <laughs> uh, people like to think that I'm freaky, but I'm really not. Because there's a lot of things that I really don't like sexually. One of them, it has to be just name calling. If I wanted to be called worthless, I would just go back to middle school. If I, it happens. If I wanted someone to bite me, that'll never happen. Because if you bite me, I'm going to assume that I'm the first person you've ever been with that you like Twilight. Uh, but hey, it was great being here, and I thank you guys. I hope you give it up for our host. And I appreciate that. <laughs> Gotta read the backstory, guys. Are in there. Please show your love for Sharon Coyle! Yeah! Oh, look at it. It's his debut. <laughs> this is Boner's debut. Boner, say hello to the crowd. Oh, hello. <laughs> He actually does hell, but I'm not gonna waste my time on this shit because I'm excited! I'm actually an Oregonian. Yay. Oh, Yay. yeah. I didn't get a lot of reaction to that every time I'm going up. It's like, oh, like it's okay. I feel the same way. I what? Your boner's oh. jumping. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. My boner loves me. He like loves to look at me. And it's awful when I love porn. It's awful. I'm telling you, like, I'll be sitting there, and then he'll be looking at me, and I'll put, like, a blanket over him, and that's, like, the one moment he doesn't want to be under the blanket. <laughs> but, no, I've done a lot since here. I went into the military. Military please, cool. Uh, thank you. Yeah, come on, can you get a little bit more red out? Energetic and like, yeah, guys. No. You know, but not right now. I'm like high as balls. I took a couple of dab hits and like, 
this woman over there, she like looked at me, she's like, oh my God, that was amazing. I was like, thank you. It really was, you missed out. And you were croaking, right? And I was just looking and I had it so bad, just killing me. I wanted to say it, but I was like, no, I'm gonna fucking use it for the show. So, if you ain't croaking, you ain't smoking, right? So, I started smoking really young, Probably shouldn't say because hi mom and dad, I'm live on my Facebook Live. Add me later on Snapchat too, guys. I'll entertain you all day long. But <laughs> anyways, oh my god, I'm about to like tip my boner. Okay, but anyways, I started smoking really young. I never bought it though. I didn't buy it until like after the military. Probably even after my divorce. But you know, like, I got it for free because my friend Jessica, she was, oh my god, and getting it for free. Oh my god. And she hooked me up, bro. And then, and then her, her dad hooked me up with beer, too. And I'm not saying her last name, so fuck all of you if you want to try to find out. You won't. I have a lot of friends. Hey, want to be one? But no, um, so one day my parents found it. And guess where they found it? They found it in my bathroom. And you know the Rosanna, when they want to find it and smoke it? That's what they thought about. Rosanna, come on, anyone? Rosanna? Rosanna, yeah. I remember that one, yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Right? yeah exactly. Yeah. And the toilet, and they yeah. hear and they're like, oh my god. They're tweaking, they're all paranoid. My parents wanted to do that, but they're 23 actually years sober. Give it up for that. Thank you. Proud of you guys, Mark Dad. You guys are my heroes. Thank you. Um, anyway, so they didn't smoke it, but I got in trouble for it. But it was worth it. In my dad's tree fort, that was two stories that he built for me up in the, like, high up in there. I would get high up there, man. Or, oh, my God. We would do this Market America business, and they were out there hustling, hustling it, man. Pyramid fucking schemes. Mm, took my fucking child to go fuck yourself. So, yeah. uh, I, <laughs> it's okay, it's water. I'll sit on it. But, not for real. Connor, you wanna come down here? Are you good? Are you good being like? So, no, for real though, you guys. <laughs> I kept smoking though. I really did. I kept smoking. They always didn't know about it, but I kept smoking and drinking. I did that for a long time. A long time. I used to be able to smoke. Now that I'm, di or drink. Now I'm disabled. I'm like puking all the time, normally, because that's my health issues. You know how it is. I'm puking. I'm like, bleh, bleh. and I'm like, do I really want to drink and do that more? No, I'm good. <laughs> but literally, guys, marijuana has saved my life. It's gotten me out of the house. It's gotten my pain down. Whenever I get like bad thoughts, I just roll up a joint and get on the fucking FaceTime with my friend Logan. And we're just high as fuck. And he lives in Hawaii. And he is so funny, he's gay. What up, Logan? I want you to watch this. And he is so funny, he's like, girl, you be looking twisted on your Snapchat. You looking so high. Girl, you better not be drinking and driving. I'm like, no, I only fucking smoke, guys. Right, Jessica? How you doing, Jessica? Are you high? I couldn't forget your name. That's my sister's name. I'm glad you're high. Do you mind? Or wait, I can't solicit drugs, but, you know, I like to dab. Yeah? Do you like to dab or smoke, like, flowers? Which one? Flower? Nice. All right. Oh, thank you. All right. Oh, see, I'm high. I can't get mad at me. I'm so sorry. You better get up. I'm ADHD. I'm like squirrel. Squirrel. I thought you were over here taking pictures of me. I'm all famous and shit. Like, oh, I love you. Okay. You better help for Dirty Angel Entertainment. I'm so sorry. Thank you. Okay, later on tonight, we're going to pass around a bucket 
Look, the point money to get a new mic stand. I know half y'all, you know, and if you don't want to put money in the bucket, put weed in the bucket. That's all right. I know people that are buying. We will flip that shit. Trust, trust me. Yeah, we're gonna, we gotta, we're gonna do this. Get us another mic. Actually, I'm gonna probably steal one from one of my places, other places that I do shows in. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. That's yeah, probably. So just let you know, you all know about it. You all are aiding in the bed. So uh, police come for us. We're all going down this motherfucker. You understand? It's premeditated. You all knew about the shit. So can't nobody say that. Oh, I'm trying to play dumb now, man. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. Uh, Good job, Sharon. Your next comedian comes to the stage, also from Spokane. Stand! Please show your love for Jamie Boy! You know I was next, all right. God damn it. I, didn't, I just touched it a little bit. All right, anyways. <laughs> I wasn't even gonna go up. Don't do not hate on me for this. Do not boo me. I wasn't gonna go up because listen, I don't I don't smoke weed. So, but here's the deal. Wait, stop. I know. Wait, stop. I'm trying to though. I'm giving it a good shot because it's been explained to me that when I was younger, I smoked like garbage weed. You know, like kind of like like ninth graders get. That's bullshit. It made me paranoid, so I haven't touched it. But I'm now I'm with this man, who's a weed smoking motherfucker. And uh, he's talking me into it. They've been taking me to weed stores all over the place. And it's a magical land. Like I go in, it's like a secret club. You gotta put your ID in and they approve you or deny you. And you, you go through the special door, like, and then it's just like all these really, really happy people in there. And it's like, yeah. And so today I was looking at this book, because he's trying to explain weed to me, right? You know? So I'm looking at this book and it gives you certain kinds of strands and what they do and like it gives bars for like paranoia level or whatever and then all, all